SCS-125 was the final repair mission of the Hubble. You know, this was the fourth spacewalk in the mission where we were going to repair STIS. Joining Mike on the mission is ex-fighter pilot Michael Good, known as Bueno. We had to replace the power card. It was a, sort of a computer card, something that uh, was never dreamed to be done in space. They will be assisted by mission specialist Drew Feustel. You can egress the airlock, Bueno. My role was to be inside, acting as a quarterback, helping to choreograph the uh, the spacewalks. Mash, you're out next. We're a very good team. You know, our personalities mix very well, and our ability to work together was, was excellent. The close-knit crew will need all the team spirit they can muster as they face a grueling six-and-a-half-hour operation. There were 117 small screws on an access panel that needed to be removed. And now we were going to go in there in space with a time restriction inside of a spacesuit with big gloves on, which makes you trying to do surgery with boxing gloves on. How are we going to do this? Come ready for the doors. We open up the doors to the telescope. Am I clear to come up? You are clear. OK, here we go. Mike's first job is a seemingly straightforward one. Remove the handrail covering the STIS access panel. It had two big screws at the top and two big screws at the bottom. It had to come off, and then the handrail could come off. Power coming on. You're going to be uh, nine turns on those fasteners. He got the first one. The second one. Top looks good. I'm going to the bottom. He got the third one out, and he got to the fourth one, and I saw him pull the trigger, but nothing was happening. I don't think I'm getting that one. Drew, I'm having trouble with this one on the lower right. Well, I would suggest, uh, you know, putting it in like you did before. Rotate to see if it's seated. Drew, I don't think it's coming out. This was supposed to be the easy part. Never gave us any trouble in training. Doesn't look good, Drew. It's not pulling out, just stop for a sec. In five years of meticulous preparation, removing the handrail has never been a problem. But now, a single damaged screw threatens the entire Hubble repair mission. Without taking the handrail off, nothing's gonna come out of the telescope. Can we just try one more try and see if it'll turn it? Houston's okay with that. And he tried again, and uh, again and again, and the, the result was the same. It looks like it stripped the thing. Mass, don't pull the trigger. All right. My heart just sunk because I knew that there wasn't any next time for these spacewalks. It was either now or never, and that screw was stuck. I'm sorry, I don't know if we're going to be able to get it. We're just standing around now out there going, we're done. This is what we came to do, and we're not going to be able to do it. Funny things go through your mind, and one thing was what my legacy could be out of all this. We would know if there was life on other planets, except, uh, you know, Mike broke the Hubble Space Telescope, and we'll never find out. <laughs>